Hi and welcome to new tutorial in Fusion 360. Here I will continue working on the Mini Copper S uh, in the front of the car. Just don't forget to activate the 3D sketch. You will learn many things with uh, this method, this new method of 3D sketch in Fusion. Just sketch uh, the first uh, edge and make it uh, tangent with this one and use M key to move it looking from the front of the car please if you are new in the channel uh, just subscribe to receive a new episode and if you subscribe it just make a thumbs up if you like it and find the paid episode on my website. Here I'm editing the last um, sketch uh, to, to change something here about the feature as you can see. That's the good thing of the patch mode, you can edit it uh, without uh, wasting any time now I will continue working on the current sketch at the first curve activate the handles you have to select only the point not all the handles Okay. Now I will add another spline starting from the left plan. I will finish it in this point. When you look from the top make sure that handle is horizontal or vertical can make it like this or make it horizontal it's um, it's good like that okay As you can see here, I will show this one. I will add a point between, I will add the, um, excuse me, a, a spline between this point. Just uh, bend it a little bit. Okay. Now all thing I think is all right. You can just uh, hide the canvas. Let's see. Let's try with um, loft feature. As you can see, use this one like um, raise and you have nice result here once you finish this you maybe um, notice that we we did this but you can just add a surface here and change it to tangent Okay, as you can see, and change only this one. Okay, as you can see. Once 
once you finish the front headlight you I want to make um, the cut here using a circle just press C or use circle here adjust it a little bit as you can see go to cut or trim and trim this one as you can see here you can make a test just select all the bodies don't forget to reverse the normal here okay and see what's what's look okay i delete the symmetry and now just um, stitch this one okay as you can see only these surfaces okay all thing is all right i will continue working on this zone now start with uh, as you notice it i start um, with the left plan because the it's too easy to start with the left okay or the right as uh, as you want because it's the same thing if you if you like to start with your with the, the right or the left okay this one i don't want to make it a tangent but if you want to just try uh, do try but it's not a problem now we have to add the straight uh, sketch from straight spline from this one I want to be uh, vertical okay when you look uh, from the from the left or the right uh, you have to see it vertical okay but from the front or the back you have just to move this point okay as you can see now let's add another spline between this point okay now when you put all the spline needed you have just to edit each spline or modify it using these handles or controllers of the spline When all thing is all right, finish your sketch and go to patch feature. As you can see here, I can select only the edge. What you have to do is just edit your sketch <coughs> and add another spline on the edge. As you can see, I have some bug on fusion. I don't know why but uh, we can deal with okay returning to the patch feature select all of this and add this one
I think it's okay like that. Let's add another sketch here to make uh, another surface. I will start with this point and go to this one. Okay, I want to add the point here. Okay, don't worry about the line on the door. Okay, because we'll make a cut after. Okay. The way why I uh, uh, add this one because we will add a cut after. As you can see here, I notice in the mirror. I will add now a tangent between this, okay, as you can see I will move this one as you can see and select a point behind and move it as you can see just here now to fix this one i will finish the sketch and edit the sketch of uh, let's see what's the surface is this one the sketch of it is this just edit the sketch and move this point when you look from the top you have to see it as this one as you can see okay Maybe the other point, okay. I will do the same thing. As you can see, this one, I will move it. To do that, look for the, look for the sketch. Let's see. You have another uh, option, you can select this surface and Fusion tell you what's the sketch. This point, as you can see in the last episode, I think I didn't add it, but uh, I think you now you can uh, adjust it because with the patch um, concept, you can return to the, to the other feature you did. You have the history of all of your feature that's a good thing and you can move it you can make a perfect uh, the uh, thing using this concept okay i don't want to enter on the detail of the car but the goal here is to teach you how you you use this uh, splines, surfaces and make something real. And after you, you can add uh, a thickness of, uh, to, the, to the surfaces and if you want to print it on 3D. Okay, returning to the design. Let's add the uh, spline between these points. And this spline, the same thing, activate the handles and move it. As you can see.
adjust it a little bit like this one okay verify if all thing is all right here from the top i think it's okay uh, we arrived to the end of the episode 9 please if you like it make a thumbs up and if you have any question let me know on the comment share it on facebook and instagram and the next episode it will be uh, payable and you will find it on the on my website as you can see there are the episode i think the five is payable please share and thanks for watching